a $16,000 American-made EV? The U.S. government wants a competition to build one. The electric vehicle, EV, market is rapidly evolving, with China currently leading the charge in producing affordable, high-quality EVs. The sub-$10,000 BYD Seagull is a prime example of this trend, showcasing China's ability to manufacture cost-effective EVs that are accessible to a broader audience. In contrast, the US market sees EVs like the Nissan LEAF priced at three times the cost of the Seagull before tax credits. This disparity has prompted US officials to seek innovative solutions to level the playing field. One such initiative is a proposed competition aimed at developing an American-made EV that can retail for approximately $16,000. The inspiration behind the competition. The BYD Seagull's success is no accident. It results from substantial local and national subsidies, an extensive manufacturing scale, and a firm grip on the battery supply chain. BYD's high degree of vertical integration allows the company to produce most of its components in-house, further driving down costs. This efficient production model has made American automakers and policymakers restless, prompting discussions on how to replicate this success in the U.S. market. The ARPA-E proposal Hallie Cheeseman, a program manager at the Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy, ARPA-E, recently proposed a solution at an ARPA-E conference in Dallas. Cheeseman suggested that the U.S. could host a competition to spur innovation and develop a domestically produced EV that would cost around $12,000 to build and retail for about $16,000. This proposal highlights the urgency felt by U.S. officials to counter the influx of inexpensive Chinese EVs. We are being beaten, and we're being beaten badly, Cheeseman stated. He believes that the U.S. can tackle this issue by accelerating the adoption of robotics and 3D parts printing and manufacturing, increasing the involvement of utility companies in battery ownership, and leveraging technologies like vehicle-to-grid (V2G). Technological innovations for cost reduction. Robotics and 3D printing. Robotics and 3D printing are at the forefront of Cheeseman's vision. These technologies can significantly enhance manufacturing precision and efficiency, reduce labor costs, and minimize production line errors. Robotics can automate complex tasks, while 3D printing can speed up the production of intricate parts. When combined, these innovations can create more efficient production lines, potentially leading to lighter and more efficient EVs, ultimately driving down overall costs. However, these technologies require substantial initial investments and integration efforts, which can be challenging. Tesla's production hell during the Model 3 launch serves as a cautionary tale of the potential difficulties in integrating advanced manufacturing technologies. Utility Companies and V2G Technology Another innovative approach involves utility companies paying for and owning the battery packs in EVs. This model could significantly reduce the upfront purchase price for consumers. Additionally, V2G technology allows EVs to feed power back into the grid during emergencies or power outages, potentially reducing the need for traditional power plants. V2G technology is still in its early stages, with a few EVs like the Nissan LEAF and Ford F-150 Lightning offering this feature. For V2G to be widely adopted, local utility companies must upgrade their infrastructure to accept power from EV batteries. The road ahead. Cheeseman's proposal is still in its early stages, with ARPA-E's senior management likely taking a year to select a concept as an official program. If approved, the program could span up to three years, with $30 million distributed among competing teams. Successful teams could then scale up their solutions, potentially bringing affordable EVs to market within a decade. Despite the potential of such government-funded programs, the private sector is also making strides toward affordable EVs. Tesla is working on more affordable models, General Motors plans to release a next-generation Bolt EV as its cheapest option, Stellantis has announced a $25,000 Jeep, and Volkswagen is set to debut $21,000 EVs in 2027. While achieving a $16,000 American-made EV may take time and significant breakthroughs, the push for affordable EVs is well underway. Whether through government initiatives or private sector innovation, the future promises more accessible and affordable electric vehicles for American consumers.